The Global Apollo Program is a call for a major global science and economics research program to make carbon-free baseload electricity less costly than electricity from coal by the year 2025. Inspiration and aims Launched in June 2015, the project, named for the Apollo program, which brought together thousands of scientists and engineers to put mankind on the moon, calls for developed nations to commit to spending 0.02% of their GDP, for 10 years, to fund coordinated research to solve the challenge. This equates to $150 billion over a decade, roughly the same cost committed to the Apollo program in 2015 money. Some developed nations, including the UK, already meet the GDP percentage target spend, but many do not and there is little international coordination to maximize the results. It has been modeled on the more recent International Technology Roadmap for Semiconductors, an international research collaborative that is credited with greatly and swiftly improving the quality and economics of semiconductor manufacture. Key areas of focus Renewable energy, in particular that derived from solar and wind sources Energy storage Smart grids Hydrogen vehicles Key people Topic. Launch report authors The initiative is spearheaded by the chemist Professor Sir David King, former government chief scientific advisor to HUM government. Amongst the Apollo group are economists Professor Lord Stern, author of the Stern Review, and Lord O'Donnell, former cabinet secretary, businessmen Lord Turner and Lord Brown, former chief executive of BP, cosmologist and astrophysicist Professor Lord Rees, former president of the Royal Society, and labor economist Lord Layard. Topic: Endorsers. The following were signatories on an open letter published to the Guardian newspaper, alongside the launch report authors, in September 2015. Sir David Attenborough, video endorsement. Professor Brian Cox, University of Manchester. Paul Pullman, CEO of Unilever. Ed Davey, former UK Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change. Professor Sir Brian Hoskins, Chair of the Grantham Institute Mark Kenber, CEO of the Climate Group Ben Goldsmith Founder, Manhattan Capital Zach Goldsmith, British MP and London Mayoral Candidate Professor Martin Siegert, Co-Director of the Grantham Institute Professor Joanna Hay, Co-Director, Grantham Institute, Vice President of Royal Meteorological Society Peter Bakker, President of the World Business Council for Sustainable Development Professor John Shepard, University of Southampton Professor Geoffrey Sachs, Professor of Sustainable Development and Director of the Earth Institute at Columbia University has separately publicly endorsed the program. Professor Sir David King has publicly stated that Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi is keen on the program. Reaction Topic. Key dates The program was discussed at the Energy Minister's run-up meeting to the 41st G7 Summit. It featured in the Leader's Declaration of the 41st G7 Summit itself. Topic. See also Mission Innovation 
Breakthrough Energy Coalition Keeling Curve